In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up networking on a Linux system and most specifically on a CentOS system. So unfortunately, with CentOS 6.2 or 6.3, they've implemented a service called Network Manager that tends to get in the way for me to uh, set up and configure networking. So the first thing that, that I'm going to do to is disable the, um, the Network Manager service. Uh, so we'd say service network manager status uh, it's capital N capital M so it is running we're going to stop it so if we want to set it not to to start a boot we'd have to go into the um, um, Etsy RC RC dot whatever run level we are and change it from an S to a K um, but I'm just going to do it here just if you do it this way just know that if you reboot the system you have to do it again um, then we're going to go into where the config file is and so you see here we have this IF CFG ETH0 and that's our Ethernet card. So I'm going to go and edit that. And here it has NM controlled, which is network manager. And we're going to say no. Alright, so at this point we can now configure our network um, through the command lines and the tools that I like better. Um, and specifically I like the uh, the um, system config network 2e and if it's not installed you can do a uh, yum install system config network 2e and this is a, uh, a kind of a pseudo GUI um, we aren't using our mouse though we have to use our key keyboard so I'm going to do device configuration there's my network card hit enter again and now I can go configure my network um, I can um, network card. So I can go and set up my IP address 1, 2, 3. And if I hit tab, um, I, then I can put in my mask and whatever gateway I've got in any DNS. Okay, And hit OK by tabbing and pressing enter. Tab, press enter, save and quit. So if I do an IF config Notice it hasn't set that configuration yet, um, even though I've used that configuration um, tool. Um, so what we have to do is we have to uh, either restart the network service uh, or just down this network card and bring it back up. Um, if we just have one network card, it's just as easy to do a service network restart. After that, Take a second here. All right. After that, I can do an IF config, and you can see my network address is what I wanted it to do. I could have also done IF down ETH zero, and then IF up ETH zero, and that instead of doing the service network restart, that would have done the same thing. Um, so that's that's the way that I prefer to do it. You can also do use the if config command itself to set the IP address um, rather than going and change the config file. So if we do a man on if config, uh, here's where we can do it. So if config and then eth zero and then the address, right? So I could set it to 1.2.3.4, which is what it's set to right now. And again, this is a temporary setting, though. So if I restart the network service, it's going to go back to the uh, config file, I believe. sure enough it goes back to it. So setting the IP address using the ifconfig is a very temporary thing. 
uh, if you really want to um, have it be a little bit more permanent you have to use the network config sys config system or system config network TUI command or you can go directly into um, the configuration file if you know the settings in there so we could go directly so the, the system config network TUI simply goes and changes this network config file for us